Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well today's video is uh, using a CRT um, tube out of a television to um, as a capacitor. Well it is a capacitor at the end of the day. Uh, this is the tube out of uh, the video that I did not long ago where I was arcing out the, uh, the actual line output port transformer to the tube itself. Um, of course it was earthed. <coughs> And today I'm, um, I've saved it because uh, I wanted to use it to see how it, um, how it, you know, reacts as a capacitor. But at the end of the day, these are a capacitor. That's what the, the, um, the stuff is. The, you know, the, this um, coating. I can't remember what it's called. <clears throat> I can never remember what it's called. It's some sort of carbon, I believe. And um, what it, it does, it, it, it helps to um, help the capacitor itself. It's dielectric. <clears throat> um, I'm sure one of you uh, can point that out a little bit more clearer for uh, other people. Um, but anyway, we're going to see what uh, what we get out of this thing. Uh, it's uh, being powered by a AC flyback. I'm sure it's an AC flyback. It's got no capacitor in it. It's uh, one of the first um, resin type um, flybacks um, when they first started doing them. Burp. Excuse me. Why do I always burp when I or fart? cough, sneeze, splutter, whatever, whenever I'm doing a video, I just do not know. But anyway, ZVS driver, being powered by the beast, or the small beast, as you all know, it's, it's the small beast, <laughs> and there's the big beast, if you ever hear me talking about it, sorry, bit of a sidetrack there, but uh, yeah, so we uh, should get uh, quite a nice output from this, It's uh, there's no capacitor in that uh, flyback, um, I'll show you the, the flyback running after without the, the tube so you can see the difference. I don't believe, I've done a bit of a search on YouTube and I can't see anybody actually doing this, so I thought I'd give it a go and see, uh, see what output we get from it. So here we go. If any of you got any earphones, please watch your volumes, guys, because uh, I've already tried this and it's quite loud. You get quite a nice corona as well. Ozone stinks. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> it's definitely doing its job. Let's try it with the lights off, shall we? And <clears throat> see if we can see some of that lovely corona. Oh, it's all dark and eerie. You can't really see it as good as you. You can't really see that as you can um, in person. Bloody noise me because I really want to show you. I really want to show you what it looks like off camera. <clears throat> After some point next year, try and buy, uh, treat myself to a, a pretty decent camera that I can change the exposure, and uh, hopefully, I might be able to uh, show you guys share a bit more of um, the outputs of some of these transformers and flybacks and God knows what. But yeah, you can see when it um, bypasses itself, it overcomes the power of the uh, the capacitor and um, gives it quite a nice arc. Ooh. 
What was that? Oh, it uh, actually arced <sighs> to itself. Oh, the corona around that tube. Can you see that? That's pretty intense. That's pretty intense, a little wire here, look. This actual wire on the flyback would have been the one that goes to the board, and you know, for the electrons, electron guns at the back there. That is, um, we just double check there's no charge in this. That has actually burnt the glass on the side of the tube. But um, this glass is quite thick. But that would be one place it would rupture if it was knocked hard enough. <laughs> but um, you got no real danger of these actually exploding. It would more of implode on itself, and then once it implodes, it would go out. So once it goes out, that's where you've got to uh, to watch the the bits of glass. But it wouldn't be too violent. <clears throat> Yeah, that was pretty interesting to see that. Only well, if you had enough of these, you could actually run a coil. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that, but uh, I think you would need quite a few of them. Probably about 30 of the bloody things. Excuse me, but uh, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was something entertaining for you. Thanks for watching. Look after yourselves. Be safe. Speak again.